Hi everyone, this is Data Eng Uncomplicated. I'm Adriano and today in this video we're going to be talking about the FME Temp Path Name Creator Transformer and how to use it in your FME Workbench. So in this video we're going to be covering the purpose this transformer serves, the pros, the caveats, and use cases where it might make sense to use it. And finally we're going to end off with a demo of the transformer in action. This transformer's purpose is to help you manage temporary paths you may need to save data to within your FME workbench, but don't actually need the data after the translation of the workbench is complete. So each instance of this transformer will actually create a subfolder within the temporary folder in use and return unique paths within that subfolder. So in another transformer in your workbench, you may, can later choose this subfolder as a directory to write specific files on disk. So when would you potentially need to use this? You'd potentially need to use this when you need to write a file to a disk temporarily so another transformer can read from it later in time in your workbench. So by using this transformer in your workbench, you can later specify a name of a file in a directory and FME will take care of deleting it for you. Moving on to the pros of the tempath name creator transformer. FME will take care of deleting this entire directory when the workbench is complete. This will save you from having to add transformers such as a file deleter transformer to manually delete specific files or running custom Python scripts in your workbench to delete temporary folders or files on disk. Also, if you want to deploy this workbench to FME server using this to manage your temporary directory, you don't have to worry about having to have read or write permissions to that manually specified directory. One of the caveats I want to point out is the subfolder created by this transformer and its contents will be destroyed at the end of the workbench translation, but before any end Python scripts or end TCL scripts are invoked. So any shutdown scripts will not have access to these files in this temporary folder. If you want to inspect the folder or files after the workbench is finished, they will not exist because they've been already deleted. Moving on to use cases, one use case is if you need to use the ArcPy Python extension within your workbench to read or write temporary files. Another example use case is if an FME transformer requires you to specify a file location such as the unzipper transformer, but you actually don't need to save this directory or its contents after the translation is complete. So in this demo, we're going to see how the temp path name creator transformer can be used to remove temporary files being written to my hard drive while uploading a gzip JSON to S3. So I have a zipped JSON file that I'm going to be using the example for this demo. The contents of this file is not really relevant. It can really be anything that you want to unzip. So the first transformer I'm going to use is the creator transformer. This simply initiates the workbench. My second transformer is unzipping the specified JSON and writing it to a temp directory. Now the next step is where the temp path creator comes in handy. I need this to create a new temporary directory so the gzip compressor has somewhere temporary to write. So in this transformer, I can set the path name attribute and what it will be. This will let me reference it in another transformer later on. If I want to add a prefix to the folder, I can add it to the base name parameter. I can also control if, there, if I wanted to put an extension for the base temporary file. Uh, for this purpose, I don't need a base name or, ex or extension, so I'm going to leave it blank. So in the gzip compressor, now it's going to be compressing that now JSON file, and it requires an output destination path. So this is where I'm going to use that temporary directory created in the temp path transformer. So it was called underscore path name. Okay, and finally, the S3 transformer, this will allow me to upload now that gzip compressed JSON to an S3 bucket. So what I'm going to do is ensure that the file to upload is set to that uh, underscore desk path, which is coming from the gzip compressor. But at, since we set that temporary directory in the path name creator, it will ensure that it's up, being uploaded from that temporary path. So I'm going to give that a run. But you notice that the bench has run successfully and is, there's one output. So if I want to look at my S3 uh, bucket, give that a refresh. And you know the time is 418. It just wrote. And there you go. The file is uploaded su successfully. All right. 
So I hope you've learned how to use the Temp Path Creator Transformer in FME. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. See you next time.